Hello, administrators and supervisors of CAPE. When we do evaluations this year for the support staff, we're going to use something called Frontline Central. It's a suite that has everything in it from the absence management, ASOP, and recruiting and hire. So the Frontline Central is the section you want to make sure you're on. So just be aware that I will be sending forms to all of you and you'll see support staff evaluation form for paraprofessionals. And then it'll have the para's name under here who the form is for. And that's because it's linked to that person. And when you're done filling out this form, it'll go directly into their personnel file digitally. So when you go into this, look for my form. See this right here? When you click on my forms, you can go to your current forms and just see what's listed. They'll be listed once I send them to you. You go here and you can click on the form here or complete form, whichever step you want, and it'll open up this form. Now, this form was created with the input from the paraprofessionals and was approved by the union. So what you'll do is you'll put the name of the person that you're evaluating first, then you put your name just type in all of these as you're going, the job classification, para, if there's certain kind of para, the name of the school that you're at, and then the beginning of their cycle, like whenever this cycle began, the end of it. I'm just randomly picking things here. If it was a full year evaluation, click that one. If not, partial. And then here's where you look at each area. Do they establish and maintain collaborative working relationships? Here you'd look, remember, exemplary is performance exceeds expectations and they could serve as a role model for others. Effective is their performance meets expectations. Needs improvement is performance is not consistently effective. And unsatisfactory is performance is not effective. I didn't bother typing all of that in every single one afterward, but you should know it's the same what we used before. How did this employee do? So I'm just gonna say effective. So you'll go down through each one Go through each area, fill them out. I'm going very quickly here. I'm just randomly picking some things. You would give this more thought, but I'm just saving time. And as you go through, fill out each category, give them a rating on each one of these, and you'll see all of the areas that we're doing. If there's something that doesn't apply to them, like uh, working with students individually or small groups, say they only work with large groups, you can pick not applicable. That's what's new this year. So there is a not applicable section in there. So. We finish giving them their observation. At the end, they get an overall rating here. You can see, I'm gonna mark this person as effective. And then any comments you want. We want you to put some comments here. Here, you would type your comments for them. The paraprofessional does a good job, blah, 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 blah. And you type all your stuff in here. You can type as much as you want. Keep on going, because it'll fill it up. When you're filling out the form, you will notice here there says web form and PDF overlay. Pay attention to this because what you do, you always complete the form as a web form. That's what you just did here. When you type this information in, it's a web form. But it looks much nicer when you use PDF overlay. Check this out. What I do is you click on that and here's the evaluation form that was created. And this is how it looks. All that information you just typed in, it will show up on this PDF overlay. This is much nicer to look at, and this is the actual form that you might actually print out, and if you need to print it out, to look at and go over it with them. But online is how it's set up, so you can do it totally with the web form. I'm gonna go right back to here, or you could use the PDF overlay. And you can see up here that you can print the form and save your progress as you're going. So say you first go in here and type the web form and you get it all done, but you don't wanna submit it yet to the person, at the very bottom, instead of submitting it, you can hit Save Progress, and it will save everything that you've done. When you go to meet with the person, you could pull it up on your computer, and you could flip it over to PDF Overlay and talk it through with them, looking at it in this format, which is a little nicer to look at. So just know that you have two options, Web Form, PDF Overlay, but you never try to type on the PDF overlay. It will not let you, all right? It takes all the information that you typed in this web form, and when you put it in, it automatically goes to the PDF overlay, all right? So just kind of have that awareness. I put it in this format just thinking it might be easier to look at for some people, and they will have the opportunity to make comments too, and when they do, it'll show up right here, all right? So just have this awareness 
that you have the web form option and the PDF overlay, but you always type on the web form option. When it's time to sign the form, I would suggest going over it together first, and then you sign the form, put the date, send it to them, and then have them sign it, add any comments, and submit it. Then you sign your name when you're at the bottom of it here. And then don't forget to add your digital signature. It'll automatically put it on date and time. You put the date, today is October 25th. And when you hit submit, boom, the form goes straight to them. The minute you send it, it is sent to them. Then it shows up in their Frontline Central under their forms, and you can look it over there together and review it then. It will also tell you the workflow steps of who is to complete the form and where it is in the process. So right now this one's sitting at workflow two where the employee, the paraprofessional, receives the form once it's submitted and they are the next ones to do the next step in the process. So down here, after you go over it with them, they could sign their version and put their name on here. I'll say test teacher, or really I should say para because it's a paraprofessional. They add their signature. They put the date that you guys have met, say you met on the 28th of October, and then the comments, the staff member can say, you know, I agree with this evaluation, but I blah, blah, blah. If they want to put a comment, they can type it there and it'll show up. And when that's at the very bottom down here, any other comments they want to put on, they can. And once they've reviewed it, they click it on here, and then the form's been reviewed. And guess what then? After it's done and you've both done it, you'll see this little status bar here. It tells us where we are in the workflow. First that you have done it, the evaluation, and then that the teacher has completed it or the para. And then finally it gets sent to me and then I approve it and it goes into the personnel file. All right, so that is how the evaluations will work this year. I hope you could understand this and I'll talk to you soon.